Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to have you back on my channel. This is my first time reviewing a white floral fragrance and this beauty in my hands is unlike anything I've ever worn before. If you follow me for some time, you will know how much I love flowers. They trigger a wide range of emotions through their olfactory language, uh, affecting my reactions to perfume, possibly even more clearly than other raw materials. It's worth keeping in mind that white flowers are special among flowers. Their scent is a symbol of femininity, as it can be opulent and even carnal. Thankfully, some perfumers are breaking away from conventional perfumery practices with white florals for all genders. Sarah Baker from East London belongs to this group and has every reason to be proud of her creation flame and fortune. As she explains on her brand's website, um, the fragrance was inspired as much by memories of New Mexico as by some pop fiction novel about the search for a mysterious flower that reveals secret worlds. This is an odd association to make yet one that makes sense once the scent has developed on my skin. In my head, I can see white flowers blazing on a desert road. How could that be possible? To answer the question, let's look at the perfume's notes. Orange blossom, pink pepper, apricot, ginger, mandarin, petit grain, lily of the valley, iris, jasmine, tuberose, motor oil, labanum, embers, and mescal. A combination like this will generate heat indeed. Well, I'm still trying to figure out how embers can be captured in perfume and what that true smell might be like. The motor oil note is clearly present on my skin beneath layers of immaculate white petals. You'd expect an awkward pairing, but the opposite happens. It's highly addictive. Um, Flame and Fortune is really pleasing to the nose, um, despite its boldness. Even with a hint of motor oil, this juice doesn't try to impress with wacky ingredients. Its elusive notes are carefully woven together to produce a dramatic effect. Orange blossom and tuberose are front and center on my skin. One piece of advice to um, men who might be concerned about wearing feminine fragrances, if there are any, do not be put off by the floral sweetness of the first spritz. Within less than 10 minutes, the other notes merge to create a truly unisex fragrance with dry, slightly smoky undertones. One of the most impressive things about Flame and Fortune is its clean vibe. Um, this is a feature I would never have expected from reading its notes, yet the spicy warmth of pink pepper and ginger is expertly blended with citrusy elements to give the fragrance a fresh cleanliness that lingers on the skin. Um, the scent doesn't have a heady sillage like most white florals, but it retains its bright radiance. Um, its airiness is a creative choice that makes it relatable to a wide audience. As a matter of fact, um, the brand's website states that Flame and Fortune is part of a collection of five fragrances that provide freshness, lightness, and an easygoing feel-good factor. These creations are designed to be spread any time of the day. However, you should not assume that because they are lighter, they are less accomplished. Not at all. You can use Flame and Fortune on both formal and informal occasions. This is an all-around scent with luminous appeal. If I had to place this fragrance in a movie, it would be the first installment of Top Gun. Do you remember that scene where Tom Cruise gives Kelly McGillis a ride on his motorcycle over the theme song Take My Breath Away? Uh, one of the most iconic scenes from the 80s, if you ask me. Uh, I love the movie, I love the song, and Flame and Fortune brings me back to that memory, um, to that moment. Uh, every time I wear it. I can see Kelly clinging on to Tom, pushing his bike to top speed on a desert road. The scent of a perfume would be orange blossom, which would be dramatically altered by the warmth of the setting sun, the smell of the arid air, and the rubbery feel of the bike's tires heating up on the tarmac. 
I can almost feel um, the wind in my face and the sense of freedom that comes with the ride. Those were the days when life was more carefree and joyful. Uh, probably not what Sarah Baker envisioned when creating her fragrance. It doesn't matter though, as the end result um, matches what the movie song says. It takes my breath away. Just as Top Gun has become a classic for film lovers, Flame and Fortune uh, will remain a staple in niche perfumery. The fragrance was uh, ranked among the most outstanding scents of 2020 by perfume blog Safleur Boom. Its spectacular luminosity and subtle complexity make it an excellent choice for people who like to stand out but don't want to look obvious. In addition, with its adequate longevity and attractive price, um, I think it'll be on the wish list of most who try it. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I would really boost my motivation. For now, enjoy your summer and remember to pick the right fragrance to do it in style. Bye. Merci à tous d'être resté jusqu'à la fin de cette critique. Comme toujours, je compte sur votre soutien, sur vos likes et vos abonnements à ma chaîne pour m'encourager. Um, profitez bien de votre été et um, n'hésitez pas à choisir ce parfum, par exemple, pour le faire avec panache. À bientôt. Au revoir. Mm -hmm.